Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life. You guys, we have done a video like this before, but we've only done it one time mm -hmm. and you guys seem to love it and we had a ton of fun and it's a video we have wanted to make another one of ever since then. Yeah. And so today we're doing it. This is a products we love video for this month, the month of June. We thought a lot about the products that we just use all the time or have used a lot recently uh, we kind of looked around our house and decided um, on eight products that we love. Yep, and just so you know, all the products are going to be linked down below. Some of those are affiliate links, so if you use those links, just so you know, we will get a commission on some of those sales. Um, but these are a variety of things. Like, we got a wide variety of products. Yeah. And as I'm looking at all of them, because we've got them, like, right here, I love them. Like, yeah. these really are products <laughs> that we love. None of these products are, like, sponsored. This is no brand deal. Correct. These are all things that we ourselves have paid for. None of these have been given to us. Right, and these are all things that we actually use all the time. Absolutely. So we're just going to jump into it, and we're going to start with a product that we have used and loved for a few years. Years, yeah. Um, actually, more than a few years, probably. Long, long time. This is one of those products that when we are out of it, and we go to the store and we can't find it, there's like panic, panic and sadness. Right. Like um, in the store, we're like looking online to buy it. This is one of your favorite, favorite products. Yes, it is. It is called Garlic Expressions. Um, so it says vinaigrette, dressing, and marinade. And you guys, I don't think this is going to show up, but there are like lots of whole cloves of garlic. I mean lots of whole cloves of garlic in here. Yes. Sherry Beth, how do you like to use garlic expressions? Uh, everything. <laughs> it's true. Give us some examples though. Um, I use it as like a salad dressing. Yep. Um, I will put it as like a marinade for like chicken. Mm -hmm. um, I have used it, oh gosh. Like, you, one of the ways you use it is when we are not on keto. If we have like less, leftover pasta noodles, like let's say we make spaghetti and there's just like some noodles, Sherry will do noodles and garlic expressions and it's so good. Um, oh, it's man. one of my favorite meals to do, and it's obviously so easy because you just boil the noodles and then just pour that over it. Yeah. Um, I will do like shrimp or oh. lobster. Oh, shrimp is so good in, in garlic this, expressions. Like cooked up in that. Um, I, just kind of anything. Like you can use it for anything, and it's so good because it's just a a garlic vinaigrette. You guys, <laughs> I, I, it, we love it. Like we love it so much, yeah. and. It's vegan, it's allergen free, and for us, we can still use it on keto because there's only two grams of carbs per table. So, and obviously, you can't use the whole bottle. Right. But, but like on a salad, this goes a long way. I was on just going to say like that. You don't use even two tablespoons anyway. Oh, so, man. it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. So, the product number one that we love, without a doubt, garlic expressions. Yeah. Now, the next product is one that it has quite literally changed our life. Yeah. Um, we first heard of this product when we were out at our friend Amanda's salon. Mm -hmm. Amanda had these vacuums in her salon that you just like swept stuff to and it just like sucked it up. Right. So she uses it to like suck up the hair and stuff in her, in her hair salon. We're like, what is this black magic device you have here, yeah. Amanda? And she tells us about it. It's called IVAC. E-Y-E-V-A-C. Yep. And Amanda mentions, oh, also they have a pet IVAC. Now you guys... In one of our recent vlogs, we talked about how Missy has a problem. She jumps out of her litter box and just like litter everywhere. She bounds and then she shakes her paws and she just flings these little litter rocks everywhere. Everywhere. So her litter box upstairs is in our bathroom. Which, so we have to walk through her flung rocks to get to our sink and our toilet and our shower. And it's on a linoleum floor. Mm -hmm. And so there's just like litter everywhere. And so what we used to do is just like we had a broom in there and a dustpan in there. We'd sweep it up every day, it up every day. put it in the trash can. Mm -hmm. And so then we found this IVAC for pets and we ordered it and it it's unbelievable. It's so amazing because it does it sucks up all those little rocks so easy in like one little like broom sweep so i'm not having to like actually sweep and then like do the dustpan thing and there's always that line that never quite get, mm -hmm. gets picked up this is not that like it picks up everything it, and then you just dump it so easily in fact so we don't have it here because of like the size right. it's not huge and you'll see that in a second so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you guys and we're gonna go and we're gonna show you exactly how it works so you can like see it in action and hopefully yeah. be as like in love with this thing as we are it's so great here is the ivac 
pet. Now, we don't normally keep it here. This is actually down in our dining room. We brought it downstairs. We normally keep it upstairs in uh, our bathroom where her litter box upstairs is, upstairs is because it's tile. Um, this is a game changer. We have loved this product. So we put some litter down here on the floor. Uh, Sherry Beth, just, mm -hmm. just demonstrate how simple this is. Yep. Like, it's that easy. Amazing. So there you can see after just a few seconds, it turns off. So there's like a sensor that senses when you're sweeping stuff down under there and it turns on and just like sucks it up. And it's so easy to empty. This just pops out. And there's you like a filter in there. And dump it. Like it's the easiest thing. You guys, I know this is a little bit expensive. Um, I wish we would have bought this years ago. I, I actually want to get one for down here in the kitchen just to have for like food so, messes or for whatever. Absolutely. Because it's so easy. Love it. Um, so that's how it works. Yep. What? You guys. So easy. And as Sherry mentioned, like we've, I can't believe we actually haven't bought a second one yet. Right. Every, I really, really want one for downstairs. Every time we sweep the floor downstairs, I'm just like, why don't we have this thing upstairs? Yeah. Because, you know, it's just like kitchen scraps and like table scraps and traffic like foot traffic totally. stuff like we were sweeping our kitchen and the dining room all the time anyway and this would just make it so much easier so and again not, not that little dirt line that i just hate i love this product it is one of those things that really has made life easier yep. uh, so the ivac and what we've done is i've actually linked down below kind of both versions of them there's the regular mm -hmm. ivac and then there's the ivac pet mm -hmm. um i think if we got down to, if we got one for downstairs we might get the regular one i think so probably. i think um and reality it's just a matter of time before we get it because we just love them. I really just want it for downstairs. It's just so much easier <laughs> to so, keep it clean. <laughs> that is the number two product we definitely mm -hmm. love. Product number three actually is a new introduction to us. Yeah. Um, we, as you guys know, have been redoing our guest room. And in the guest room, there is a lamp on the bedside table as there are with many a bedside table. Correct. The problem with me is I feel like a bedside table lamp, I love touch lamps, right? I love things that are easy on, That's easy off. That's what we off. have on, on each side of our bed. But we couldn't find one we love for the guest room. Yeah. And so sometimes if you're in bed, tell me if you guys are like me, you're in bed and you're falling asleep, you don't want to fumble with like one of those like old school twisty ones or a push button one. Yeah, we had to like reach up into the lamp and like push the little button. You want to like in a half like sleep days, reach over, smack something and go to bed. Correct. Yes. And I was like, something has to exist. So I went on and I did some research and I found something that I was, when I ordered it, I was like, this may be a scam and it may not work or I may love it. We love it. We love it. And okay. I think I need to get these for like every lamp in our house. So we're trying to think not only lamps, lots of things. Okay. So here's what it is. Uh -huh. So it is, um, it is basically a, it turns anything into a push button. Right. So the way it works is you plug this end into your outlet. And then whatever you plug into it turns uh -huh. on and off with a push of a button. And in this fact, is a pretty long cord. It is a pretty long cord. And they might have longer ones. I'm not sure. I've linked it down below. In fact, I want to show you guys how this works. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have plugged our ring light, the light we use to record, into this. Yep. You ready? Yep. Push the button off. Push the button on. R. You okay. kidding me? That's, that's annoying. That's a lot. Like that is a that that, is, that was very Aries of me. It was. Um, I so obviously we have tested this on different lamps around the house. It works great in the guest room. True. I was thinking. I wish that I had had this product when I was super <sighs> sick because there's a light that is near my chair that I just lived in for yep. like four months, um, but it's not quite in reach of the chair. Yeah. Um, and it, we could have moved it. It's like a whole big stand light mm -hmm. thing. And so moving it closer to the chair wasn't really super a great idea. Um, so I had to get up and like turn off the light and like pull this little cord, to like turn it off. This would have been so simple. And I just wish that I had this because getting up was not always a thing. So me. basically <laughs> it turns anything that like has an on off switch into just a push button. Which is so great. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds amazing. Yeah. So we only have one of these right now. For sure, we're going to be getting more. Correct. Uh, again, linked down below, and I'm 100% sold on this. It's so, and I, 
you know, again, like we kind of thought this is going to be a scam. Like it's not really going to work. It's it true. totally works. It totally works. <laughs> it totally works. Yep. So that is the next product that we love. Yep. Now we're going to get into a brand new product. I mean, you guys, this is days old yeah. in our life. And it, it may be, uh, it's been bringing us a lot of joy. It's bringing, bringing us a lot of joy, but it's also, um, it's for me, it's just one of the things that I missed the most being on keto. So we're not big soda drinkers. Not really, ever. Um, ever. But your favorite soda? Is Dr. Pepper. When I drink soda, I want Dr. Pepper, and I do not like Diet Dr. Pepper. Mm -hmm. So um, Diet Dr. Pepper is technically keto, but I don't like it. It's just, it's not good. I don't like it. So one of the drinks that I've had that I've really liked is the Coke Zero Sugar. It used mm -hmm. to be Coke Zero, I think now it's Coke Zero Sugar. Um, and I'm like, oh, this tastes much better than Diet Coke, in my opinion. It tastes more like just Coke. Yeah. Right. So I was on Facebook scrolling a week ago or so. Yeah. And there was a Facebook ad for this new Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar and Dr. Pepper and Cream Soda Zero Sugar. And I was like, wait, what? Hang on. And so I told Sherry, I was like, Sherry, uh, we need to look into this. Right. So like the next day we went to Fred Meyer and we were like, do they have it? You guys. And I, so we have Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar, Dr. Pepper and Cream Soda Zero Sugar. I think they have Dr. Pepper and Cherry I think as so, well. Yeah. Um, now, when we bought these, first of all, we found them in the grocery store. We we're so excited. Mm -hmm. So excited. Um, but then we're like, well, we need to taste them. What because what if they're not good? What if they taste like Diet Dr. Pepper? Nobody yeah. wants that. And I wasn't sure about the Cream Soda one. It's been really hard to find anything vanilla flavored on keto. I was it's always high sugar. I was more excited for the Dr. Pepper and cream soda only because I'm not a huge Dr. Pepper fan. It has like a bite that I'm not stoked on, but I love cream soda. And I was like, you know what? I bet Dr. Pepper and cream soda is pretty good. And so Can we, confirm. So we tried these. Sherry Beth, thoughts? They're, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. And it doesn't have that weird <sighs> aftertaste fake sugar thing um, that like the diet sodas have. We love these like love these so much yeah they are absolutely delicious mm -hmm. um again is soda the healthiest thing to drink no. no but especially like when you're on keto and you want something that just tastes sweet or just something that tastes normal normal exactly <laughs> so think. so for us um i will say i don't know why in the world you would drink a normal dr pepper if you could get this i'm probably just getting this from like ever on out because sure. it's zero carbs zero calories um, and it's so good. It is so good. Yeah. I'm glad we found that. Me too. The next product we love is one that Sherry Beth has used for a long time. It is, in yeah. fact, it is one you use, you have used every day <laughs> for a long time. Yep. Sherry Beth. Yeah. Let's talk about this Phillips. It's blank. It's blinking 12 because we plugged it in. It's fine. Uh, well. <laughs> um, let's talk about this. Tell us what is this UFO looking device? Let's talk about this. Okay. I'm going to hit the little, okay, so stop blinking. Um, this is the clock slash light In that fact, hold I on. use. Hold on, let me turn my ring light off. Here we go, you ah. can see it better. Um, so this is the clock slash light that I use every day. Yep. Um, it is an alarm clock. I actually don't use it as an alarm clock, but you can, you can use it as like a, a radio alarm or a beeping alarm or just a light alarm, yep. which is why I bought this. So show it to it, us. Um, it does like like a sunrise, like a slow sunrise kind of thing. And this is gonna be faster, but this is the actual light portion of it. Um, I don't know if it's really gonna- It's really showing up. Showing up, you can kind of see it a on. Bit. Yeah. But it like even turning on just the light portion of it, it like fades up and then turning it back off, it will fade back out. Yep. Um, and so that's kind of what it does, but it oh, like when you use it as an alarm, it does it over a 15 minute period. So it starts really light and it brightens. So um, you can also then adjust how bright you want it. Mm -hmm. um, it's so easy to use and I love it. The idea behind these type of alarms of yeah. which there are, there are many, is that the, uh, the sort of subtle light Mm -hmm. is more like a natural awakening for your body. Right, so even when you use it with like a sound alarm, the radio or the, the beeping, um, 15 minutes, so you can set your alarm for like 6 a.m. At 5.45, it will start that light increase. And then when it gets to the top of the light, that's when your alarm will go off. How has it worked for you? Do you like this? Um, I love it as a light. Mm -hmm. um, I 
am just the lightest sleeper ever. And yeah. so I found that the second it, it turned on, even on that lowest one, it woke me up. Because you wake up to anything. I wake up to literally anything. So it was it was a little much for me just because I'm such a light sleeper. But it never woke him up with just the light. No, in fact... Um, it did once it got like brighter. That's what I was just gonna say. Like honestly for me, so what Sherry's talking about, just so you know, is when the light turns on, there's this super subtle little click. It's I, almost honestly, it's I almost like a and it's just like that's where the light starts. And the tiniest it's like when a light bulb turns on. You know how there's like that, that subtle noise? That's a little bit what it's like. And that would wake her up. It wakes me up. But me, it's perfect because it's like it's subtle, it's subtle, it's subtle, and then it gets bright. A little bit and brighter. then like I'm starting to wake up and then like the alarm kicks in and I'm just like, yeah, it makes sense that I get up now, I'm ready to get up. Right. I love it. So I don't use it for the alarm yep. so much, um, but I do really appreciate just the light uh, portion of it because I use it as like a reading light and you can adjust how bright it is. So even at night, like when I don't need it on full brightness, I usually have it set at like five or six. Um, it goes up to 10. And so I'll just read by that. And then you, when you turn it off, it just sort of fades out. Yep. So I'd say if you are looking for, uh, if you're looking for maybe a different way to wake up, in my mm -hmm. opinion, a better way to wake up, uh, <laughs> sometimes it can be just like a jolt when you're just like nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Uh, this <laughs> is a more subtle, I think a more natural way to wake up. Yes. Which was my thought behind it. And uh, I mean, theoretically it did, it did work. Yeah, totally. For him. It's just that little click when it first turns on, it just wakes me up. Which and is so, I so feel weird. like that's an alarm. Like my, the alarm that I actually wake up to is set on the quietest setting and it like jolts me awake. Nope. For me, <laughs> this is an amazing, amazing uh, alarm clock. I absolutely love it. I love the yeah. increase of light. Yeah. All right. The next thing we're getting into is another food item. Yeah. Uh, it is a keto food item. One of my biggest knocks against keto is, it's one of the things I miss the most are like chips and crackers, like things to dip. It's like, you want to have like guacamole, it's like people are like, oh, you could dip veggies in there. I know I could dip veggies in there. Yeah, I just feel like there's so many great keto dips and nothing to dip them in besides oh, vegetables. Exactly. Which a little bit bored with. And it's like, if I'm eating a sandwich, I want to have like something with it. Mm -hmm. um, now here's what I will say about this next product. This to me is not a replacement. If I go off keto, I'm not sticking with these. Correct. I'm going back to chips. Let's be very clear. <laughs> That's why I have a weight problem. <laughs> but these, I think, are the best thing we found. And they I actually so, yeah. are pretty good. They actually are, are tasty. Yes. So you guys know we've been a fan of high key for mm -hmm. a while. Uh, we've been impressed with the stuff they made. And I saw recently they announced these new high key crackers. And they kind of have two of them. I think there's like sea salt and then cheddar. Uh, we ordered both of them, like them both. Yeah. The cheddar, though, are my favorite. They're, it's really good, and it's shaped like a little cracker. I was just going to say, I'm going to open one up. Um, it does have a little bit of that keto. It's like a giant cheese it Yeah. Oh, they smell good. They they taste good, right? Yep. Like, I mean, it just, it actually tastes good. <laughs> yeah, so to me, um, this doesn't fully replace some of the things that I miss. But I'm so, like, I was so happy when I tried this the first time. It comes time. close enough because you have something to, like, dip in your in your dips. You have something to dip in your dips. You have something to eat with your sandwiches. <laughs> yep. uh, they're just so darn good. Yeah. And honestly, like, I love that we finally have something like this that isn't gross. Yes. So, high key. Good, good job. job. Now, the next item, we only have one more item after this, Sherry. We're getting close to being done. Yep. But this next item, this next item, next item. <laughs> Welcome to Leg Life, everybody. Uh, we have <laughs> used a bunch of, even this week. Uh, yeah. And this item, here's what I want you to know. This item is totally an item of convenience. Absolutely. And I am fine with that. 100%. You use, I mean, it costs a little bit more than just like the normal item. Yep. Um, 100%, I'm always buying these. What do we got here? Windex wipes. Windex wipes. Now, growing up, I don't know what you guys did, but growing up, we would use like glass cleaner and old newspapers. Yeah. That's what we used to do yeah, our windows. Or like cloths that just sort of left streaks. The newspapers tend to not leave the streaks. Exactly. Well. Pro tip. Um, <laughs> but we bought these and I originally bought these for like bathroom mirrors, right? You can keep a small pack of these like in the bathroom. When the mirror gets janky, um, just like right there, just clean it off. Yep. Good to go. But then I started using them around the house. And this week I cleaned all of the windows in the whole house. Yes, you did. And I went through basically two packs of these. Yes. But I love them. They're so easy. And again, like it's a little more expensive to buy this than totally um, like just the Windex and use something to, to clean it. But it's this is so easy um, and it works. 
mm -hmm. so well. Like all of our windows are clean. Our mirrors are easy to clean. Yeah. They're, it's great. I love them. So we have, we keep one pack upstairs in our bathroom. Yep. Uh, we keep another pack downstairs here. We need to buy more though, because we used a ton of them. <laughs> this week. our gross windows. Yeah. So love the Windex wipes. Uh, product and convenience. Absolutely. And am I okay with that? Absolutely. <laughs> yep. All right, Sherry Beth. Mm -hmm. Last product. This is a big one. This is also something we use almost daily. <laughs> that is true. Um, <laughs> surprise, you guys, we like coffee. What? what? <laughs> Good job, Sherry. Um, we've had a coffee grinder that we have absolutely loved yep. for like a decade plus probably. We've had it for a long time. It started to die. Yeah, like sometimes it would work and sometimes it wouldn't. And I think it's it was just old. Coffee is too serious to mess around with. Correct. Right? Right. So before it actually completely died, we replaced it. We went shopping. Mm -hmm. And we had planned on just buying like a newer version of the model that we loved. Mm -hmm. But then we were at a store here in Anchorage called Metro Cooks and we found this beauty, which is just like, you guys, it, look at, look at the thing, it's beefy. But here's what I wanna show you. I don't know if it's gonna show up, touch screen, turns on, what? It's a whole menu. You can tell it how much you want to grind. Beans go in here. You can change the grind on there. Uh -huh. And so for us, like we always grind a lot. Cause we normally oh, grind like our- that smells really good. I know, it smells <laughs> really good. Uh, this pops out, beans go in there, or not beans, the grounds are in there. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I really love about this one, uh, our last coffee grinder was crazy loud. So loud. Yeah. Crazy loud. Now all grinders are going to be a little bit loud. Because they're grinding. Of course. Right. But this one, I'm going to grind some real quick and just kind of show you a little bit. And just, you know, change the amount you were grinding. It's like, you know what? I'm just going to grind one cup. Enough for one cup. Just enough for one cup. We're just going to hit start. <laughs> Done. Still loud. Still but loud. But not like... Oh. Why is this so loud? And that's really one of the things, like I don't, I never ground beans first thing in the morning. Sorry guys, uh, we exceeded our time limit and the camera shut off. Professional YouTubers. Professional YouTubers, ladies and gentlemen. So you never grind beans also. <laughs> you know about the smell in here? So I mean, just ground coffee oh, beans. Oh gracious. Uh, you never um, grind beans first thing in the morning. I never grind beans first thing in the morning because it's so loud and I mm -hmm. just can't do loud in the morning. Like yep. I need my coffee before I can do loud. And so we always grind the beans at night, mm -hmm. um, which we still do, but for sure with that other one we had, I was just like, there's no way. Like if I had to grind beans first thing in the morning, I would almost always go buy coffee. I would want to like write an, <laughs> an apology note to our neighbors. <laughs> it's like, I know it probably sounded like we dumped a bunch of screws in our garbage disposal, but we were just making coffee. Mm, right. um, so this Cuisinart uh, coffee grind is a touch screen. Again, absolutely love this. It's so, so, so nice yeah. and it's so easy to use. And we've just been super impressed with it. Yeah. Uh, so you guys, those are the eight products yeah. that right now in life, we're loving. We use all the time. We really do. Like these have been a part of our routine. Some of them, again, some of them like garlic expressions. And the clock. Uh, and the clock for years. for years. Yeah. Some of them like the Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar days. Yeah. And so these have been amazing, amazing products. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, links down below to everything if you want to check that stuff out. Yeah. Also, here's what I want to know. Is there something that you guys have been using that you've been yeah. loving? Is there a product that you've discovered recently and you're like, this has changed my life? I want to know what it is. We want to know what it is. <gasps> I just thought of something. You What? A piece of my clock that I love. What? That I didn't talk about. What is that? The fact that you can adjust the brightness of the clock itself, like of the numbers. Of oh, the numbers? Yes. There's four settings for the numbers. I forgot to talk about this. There's like a bright and then you can click it once and it's a little bit dimmer and a little bit dimmer and then off. And so I have it on the lowest dim. So even at night when that's the only light in the room, it's super dim and it's not bright. You... Um, I forgot to talk about that. I'm sorry. No, I'm, it's one of my favorite features of the clock. I, it's not. It's just not so bright. I was just gonna say that one of the things that you love is when you can get something just the way you want it, <laughs> right? Like very specific what? and what? <laughs> shocking. <laughs> very particular about things. And there's yeah. a lot about this clock that is customizable like that. Yes. In fact, in like hotel rooms when you can't, I literally put like a shirt or a pillow over the clock yes, because she does. I just can't handle how bright it is. She's like, why are the numbers so bright? I don't need a flashlight. Put a towel over the clock. Yeah, I do. So, there you go. <laughs> Anything else you want to say about the clock? I don't think so. I mean, oh. obviously you can adjust like the, the volume of the alarm part. Okay. 
So guys, those are the products that we love. <laughs> Again, they're all linked down below. Yeah. And remember, in the comments, you're going to tell us products that you guys love. Yes, please. And uh, friends, thanks for watching Lug Life, and we'll see you guys on the next Lug Life video.